And out of this, later start times and longer lunches could be the future for some students in Maine. Yeah, a new panel will look into both of those ideas within the next few months. Lawmakers originally considering a bill that would require high schools to start classes no earlier than 830 in the morning. A different bill would have extended lunch periods to 30 minutes long. A legislative committee voted against both bills yesterday, but didn't scrap the ideas completely. And now some parents, teachers and administrators will study ways to better structure the school day. Yeah, the panel could be formed as soon as this summer and then have recommendations to lawmakers by next February. If you like to read more about this, you can do so by checking out today's Portland Press Herald. All right, meantime, there's a conversation happening in schools around the state right now about what it means to belong. And that's true in Bangor, where there's a new report that shows students can really have pretty different experiences when they're at school, and that depends on their background. Our Caroline LaCour here with a look at how district leaders are responding to what they've learned, at least so far. Hey, Caroline. Hey, good morning, Lee and Sharon. Back in 2020, the Bangor School District launched a diversity, equity, inclusion and belonging committee to steer schools towards a more inclusive environment. Now the district is partnering with the University of Maine's College of Education and Human Development, looking at the school's culture under the magnifying glass to find and address disparities. You may took data from each school, taking a look at attendance, tardiness, grades and extracurriculars to see if there are any pitfalls. Teachers, students and parents were also surveyed and the survey considered factors like things like students race, gender and economic status. This data was then presented to the school board earlier this month and it shows some students might need a little more support at school. Superintendent James Tager says among other things, the results of the study show a big disparity for students who are in the school's free or reduced school lunch program. There was evidence that students who were on free and reduced lunch were late to school more often. They were absent more often. They had less opportunities to be in extracurricular activities. You know, academic excellence is a big priority in the Bangor schools, and that was something that the study said we're doing very well. But the question that we had is, can we do even better with that if we can give all students a sense of belonging? Tager also says moving forward, teachers have drafted goals to make a sense of belonging a priority for every student and that this is an ongoing conversation to give students a school culture they can thrive in. Lee and Sharon. All right. Thank you so much, Caroline.